Hey guys, today I got an interesting topic. It's about triggered people. There's nothing worse than people getting triggered. I think this, it, it, you have to put up with this, this mentality that, you know, like, oh, you shouldn't say that. That's woke people use that or they, these people use that or whatever. I use the terminology that I want to use. And, you know, I, I'm pretty upfront about that. I don't follow any PC rules. And yesterday, I had a few comments and I actually had a couple people that took themselves, they unsubscribed. It was probably like about five or six people. It wasn't anything really big. And later on it came back up, but they left a few rotten comments and, and I was kind of amused by it because the video, if they had watched the whole thing, it really wasn't about the way, the, the word that I use was toxic mas masculine types. I was talking about toxic masculine type people, the idiots, you know, out there who they're just rotten people, you know, and apparently I hit a few nerves out there because people got really ticked off. And one guy said, Steve, I've watched you for a long time. I didn't think that you were the type that would use that type of wording that's used by the woke people and all this stuff. And I was like, what? You know, I don't care what, how somebody else uses a word if I want to use a word I'm going to use it and just you know they and he was some of the feminists the feminists use that word against men and I was using it against a certain group of people the toxic toxic masculine types that sometimes we see over here in the Philippines that are they're kind of obscene they're putting down people all the time they put down everybody you know they put down the women over here they're very toxic towards the uh, Filipinas over here, um, and they like to use that word that we were talking about yesterday, simp. And I, I guess I triggered a few people out there, and if they had watched the whole video, they probably would have found out that the way I used it was not the way that a lot of people back home use it. There's a lot of words now you can't use. Um, people automatically tie you in to certain groups or certain whatever and it it, it 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 triggers a lot of individuals out there and i kind of got a kick out of that because if the guy had watched the video all the way he probably would have you know learned a little bit more and said oh he's using it that way oh all right he's not using it the way the the, the other people use it you know we don't one thing i try to stay away from is politics and even when you're trying to stay away from it sometimes you you mention something or something and it triggers a, a whole bunch of people out there. And it's like, Steve, you know, you, you mentioned about this here and that's politics. It's like, yeah, sometimes we're going to talk politics a little bit just in passing or whatever, but we don't make a whole video about politics or whatever. And, you know, a lot of people over here, I find get triggered easy, just like back in the United States. It's the one thing that they took over here that they should have left on the tarmac was that triggered thing you know that that thing that every, every everybody over here tends to have i even have it a little bit sometimes i get triggered because somebody pisses me off or whatever you know and we all get like that but there's some people over here that are overly triggered you know they're just way over the top with certain things we have a we have a guy that in the neighborhood here he lives in the neighborhood here and he gets triggered really easy he just walks off at the slightest Thing that he doesn't like he gets up and walks off if he hears somebody say something in passing that's near him he gets up and walks off and you don't know what he's mad about what he got ticked off about but that's part of that that triggered mentality you know i understand people get mad and and, and sometimes right rightfully so but sometimes these trigger happy these, these trigger triggered people i can't call them trigger happy they're they, they're they go crazy they go over anything people say that they don't like. Oh, I'm going to unsubscribe from him or what have you or whatever, you know. And it's it's something that a lot of us expats should have left home, you know, because and some people try to trigger people because they know their character. They know their personality and they like to get underneath your skin, you know, and we have that's we have that type over here, too. And sometimes it's in, in all in good fun or jest or whatever. And that's fine. You know, if you know the person and, and, and you know, I, I do that once in a while. I, you know, all of us guys, we bust bust balls on each other once in a while. And, and it's something in the expat community we do just, just for fun sometimes. I'm not a person that likes to do that. I'm not a person that likes to trigger people for fun. I don't, I don't, I don't like to be triggered and, 
you know, I, I just, I'm not that type. I mean, sometimes people get your jokes, you know, and sometimes people get triggered. They, you know, they, they, they know you're trying to get underneath their skin. And you just both laugh it off. Ha, ha, ha. That's, that's, that stuff's okay. But if you're doing it just to dig and just to irk somebody and really get underneath their skin, I think that's a rotten thing to do. And it's something in the expat community I see on expat pages and stuff like that. People digging at people or, or people getting triggered or whatever. It's like this mentality we have to go back and forth with each other. And it's something that some of the, the European people picked up on over here. And I had a couple of the European people over here talking to me about that. We've talked about it. And sometimes Americans can be just jerks. You know, um, we are to a certain degree. I mean, the United States has changed. And I don't even like what I see back there sometimes. And, but when I hear these Europeans talking about Americans sometimes, I have to agree with them. You know, that we, we are a different bunch. But I think Americans have taken it to the top. Way up here. They're like way over, way past that, that, that line of what's good and what's right and what's wrong. You know, Americans are, very t are a very touchy group of people and expats, I would say that are in, in some respects are, are even worse in some cases, not all. We have a good group here, but I see these guys in these expat pages and I, I, every once in a while I run into these guys too myself and man, these, these people, anything you say, they get ticked off. You know, and yesterday when I saw that, I wasn't ticked off about it. I just had a, a little laugh about it. I was like, man, these people get triggered easy. You know, um, I'm not a person that likes to jab at people or jab at a, a certain side that uh, politically one way or the other or something. I, I believe everybody has their right to believe what they want to believe. And that's their God-given right. You know, I remember back in the 80s, the early 80s, you know, and I've talked about this before when Ronald Reagan was in there. Ronald Reagan was pretty a pretty fair dude. He reached across the aisle to people like Tip O'Neill, who was, a, who was a, a liberal. And today I am going to talk a little bit about politics <clears throat> because about this here anyway. It's not going to be politics of who's right and who's wrong or whatever. I'm going to talk about the people in politics. Ronald Reagan was someone that reached across the aisles. You know, you, you can... You can say what you want, but he was a person that reached across the aisle and kind of united the country, you know, and he united people. And people today, they don't want to unite. They, they want to piss people off and trigger people. And and it's, it's on both sides. Nobody's willing to back down and say, here's my hand, man. You know, let's, 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 let's work this out and let's start working things out and making it work. You know, it's one thing I noticed about Americans back home is nobody wants to work together anymore nobody wants to work it out make things better if anything they're making things worse in some ways you know and I, and I, I I'm, it's kind of scary and I see people from the states and they come over here and they they have that that trigger that trigger ready to touch and it's a really soft trigger you touch that trigger and it boom it's off you know and they're off to the races and it's something that we kind of have to look inward to ourselves and say, you know, do I want to look like I'm an idiot all the time and get triggered? And, you know, you know, some things you need to overlook. Just, man, why, why am I going to let that bother me? If you, if you let things like that bother you that much, you probably shouldn't be around a lot of people and you shouldn't be over here. A lot of us over here, we try to escape that. And when I talk to the, the, the more laid back expats over here, they all say, I don't want to get involved with that, Stephen. And I agree. That's why I live where I live. <clears throat> That's why I don't like to travel too much, too. You know, because you run into some of these people. You know, you, uh, if they see another American, they sit down. But mo a lot, most of the guys over here are pretty decent. But there are enclaves of, of people like that around here up in Angeles and, and other places. And they... You know, it's okay to bust bust balls on people that you know and you know that you can get away with it because they know that you're just horsing around or whatever. 
but you know and and also sometimes it's not even that sometimes it's just you're in a conversation with like five or six people all of a sudden somebody will get up and jump and say you know dude i'm not i'm not sitting here listening to this stuff ba, 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 you know and they, they get up and leave and we we get a lot of those types over here and i think we have actually more of them over here percentage wise than back in the states might sound funny but it's true and especially especially online in the expat pages but also we see a few of them even in person every once in a while these these super touchy people they're they're offended by everything and usually it's about political stuff or a word that you said that you're not supposed to say because the pc police do not want you using that on one side or the other it happened to be that it was on the opposite side of what i am which i found kind of funny and you know it's it can be it can be brutal in life i guess you know and i i guess this is the way the world's heading and there's no stopping it and it seems that like that and i'm hoping that someday all this stuff calms down and stops especially back in the u.s but also over here where i'm retired it's just something to think about for the day you know and i thought it'd be a great thing to talk about today because you know we have to live with this over here and a lot of expats know what i'm talking about the the triggered expats but anyway guys god bless take care i hope you enjoyed today's show leave your comments down below thank you guys